Hey guys, going fishing today. Super excited. Going fishing with my brother Micah and his friend for a little overnight adventure. Super excited. And here's my brother and his friend. Hello, are you Ed? Yeah. Nice to meet you, Ed. Good to meet you. Heard a lot of good stuff about you. <laughs> hey, dude, how's how it doing, going? Bro? You ready like to do this? Uh huh. Thank you. Do you have a cooler we can use? I yes, I do have a cooler we can Sweet. use. I could, I just got some ice, so I figured we start throwing Sweet. stuff in the cooler for the ice. Excellent. All right. Crickets, dude. <laughs> wow. All right, so we were driving along, and there's been a big cricket hatch out here. Look at them, just crickets every big old. Uh, I think these are Mormon crickets. There you go, you two. want this guy right here? Oh, he's a big fat and he's a. Oh, shoot. Oh, he almost jumped right in. Hey, you. Hey, oh. <laughs> he's a tricky little devil. Hey. In the can. Oh. Maybe we just. You know. I think that one is that one is one you deserve. To be, to be <laughs> go. Got him. There. Look at all of them. Just hundreds and hundreds. I mean thousands of them. Good grief. He was out. He was out here on the yellow lines when I seen him. He was eating his buddy. <laughs> so they were tricky. We all said ball out on catfish after this. I'm gonna be convinced that this is like good luck. The crickets are good luck. Yeah, crickets are good luck. We got seven of them. A little trickier, trickier to catch than we thought. So we got seven of them. So we got some different kinds of catfish bait. It's funny, we come here and even when like the fishing's not like amazing, just making a fire and cooking hot dogs and like yeah. all that stuff is just so much fun. <sighs> Alright, so what we got going first here is we don't have the crappie, which is normally our favorite catfish bait, but we've got this pack of uh, dead trout that we brought with us. So on the bigger rods, we're going to put on whole small dead trout and then on the uh, little bit smaller hooks, we're going to uh, cut up the trout and use like pieces of cut bait uh, for the catfish. And then I think we'll also throw out some of the crickets that we found and maybe some worms or stuff like that. Anyway, throw out a nice variety of baits to start off. Oh yeah, that's the cast. All right, so we haven't been here yeah, I reeled out one. We haven't been here like, what, 10 minutes? Got our first bite. That's a catfish. Feels like, oh, uh oh. She's coming in now. Should be a good start to the day. Oh, nice. Nice there channel. You can almost tell the smaller ones because they run a lot. There we go. Nice. It's a start, my Beautiful. friends. Beautiful. First huh. catfish there we of go. the day. Well, we haven't been sitting out here like 10 minutes. Look at that. About nice. two pounds, I'd say. That's a good size. That's a good eating because the meats, there's not a lot of fat in the meat. Okay. He took that too. I mean, it wasn't even. Yeah, he, he, he was. was there, were no, there, were no, there was no doubt about that one. Sweet. That is an excellent start. Uh, for those of you watching from Texas or whatever, you're probably laughing 
because the catfish grow massive down there. In but the south. Up here in Idaho. That's a good start. That's for the a day. great catfish. All right, so we got all four lines out, all four with trout. Caught the first fish right off the bat. We're feeling pretty smooth right now. Uh, pretty fleek. T pretty fleek. Today, we have means. with us my brother Micah. <laughs> What's up, guys? You know me from other videos that Asa has created. Usually, I'm the one making a fool of myself, but today I'm going to keep it pretty low key. So, everybody be disappointed. And here we have with us, fishing for the first time with us, um, Ed. Ed and Micah work together. Ed is from Compton, right? Compton, that's Compton. right. And he hasn't been fishing in 20, in 20 years. Yes, 20 years. Believe that. Yeah. 20 years. So but it feels good to be out here. So I'm, I'm kind of getting back into the game, relearning everything. Feels good. It's been a long time, so it feels good to be back out here and to catch a fish, you know, right off the bat. You know, less than half an hour being out here, man, that's a, that's encouraging. It's a way to start off Definitely after, a, good way to after start. a 20 year drought. Heck yeah. <laughs> Heck yeah. Nice. Excellent. Definitely nice. Let him pull. All right, while we were deep in conversation, suddenly this rod took off. And there you go. Got this line in. Don't worry about Ed that. is hooked up here. Like I said, you don't have to horse him in, especially if he really takes off. Let yeah. him go ahead, give him a little slack, you know, kind of give with the rod. Otherwise, just keep that line tight. Oh, nice. That's a nice one. Bring him up here, man. There we go. Another dude. great eating one. Here we go. Bring him up a little closer here. There we go. Nice. That's a good four pounder nice. right there. So three, maybe three and a half pounder right there. Nice, guys. Nice, dude. Sweet. The sun has even gone cat. down. Number two. That's the same rod out on that side. Yeah, you might is. even want to think about moving a little bit <laughs> uh -huh. towards the uh, that area over there. A big old rock and like set it down here or something like that. That is yeah. an excellent fish, bro. Yeah, he's a cool size, too. Yeah, a perfect eating. Sometimes when you get the catfish really big, they taste kind of funky. Yeah. And so, so to have that nice, that's it's a perfect eating It's almost like too much size. fat on them, too. Yeah, they have a lot of fat and stuff. Get him, get him, get him. Oh, oh nice safe. There's not... Here we go. Yeah, let's get him on the stringer ASAMP. All right, guys, so we got a couple of catfish and uh, I've been trying some bass fish, crappie fish, but the bass and the crappie bite are dead right now. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, cook up one of these catfish over the fire. This is going to be delicious. All right. I'm going to take this little guy. Whoa. Take this little guy. All right, guys. So what I always do with the um, uh, any fish before I fillet, I just I never start just cutting into a fish. I always kill it first with a rock. Um, it's just best practice. Don't cut hack into a, a live fish when you think about that. You know, it's just really painful. You know, this fish is sitting right here right now, and I'm going to hit it on the head with a rock, and it's just going to you know everything just goes black. Just kind of a humane way to kill really any animal uh, or any fish that you're going to eat. I think we're just gonna fillet him up. Um, fillet him up for now. And we'll put the fillets, these small fillets on the fire. But I always use all my catfish. Some people just take from this part back. But I'll take from this part back. That's the best part right there. But then I'll also take this stuff and, um, uh, and even with the rib bones in it, because it's still good meat, it just has bones in it. Um, which I understand people not wanting bones, but you still want all that meat in there. You can just, but you just know that these pieces have bones in them. So we'll take the fillets, we'll cook those up, but then we'll also save the rest of the fish. All right, look at that beautiful piece of meat. There, look at that. Two beautiful fillets. And then I'll cut the rest of this guy up a little bit later. Oh, that just totally killed it. A little smoked thumb as well. <laughs> oh, okay. You didn't think my fire was good enough. I see how it <laughs> No, it was perfect. No, it's whatever. You it's got whatever. the fire started. Dude, beer battered Frankfurt. That's what we need, man. Huh. Should have had a marinade in one of these. 
some oh. Budweiser. <laughs> All right, so we got some bushes beans. We got chili in the other can. And we got, <laughs> we got some... We got Franks. <laughs> Jumbo Franks. I like it. <laughs> Jumbo Franks rolling. Kind of had to say that one. <laughs> 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 Make up for the last eight. Yeah. <laughs> Alright guys. Here's what's going down. It's the next day. There's been a whole lot of nothing out here. A whole lot of nothing as far as fishing. Since that second catfish. We've had a great time. We cooked hot dogs and beans and chili. Um, talked about everything from politics to women. Uh, but no other fish. Only had a couple of bites. We, we actually camped out on the bank here, or put our cots out on the bank, and slept the night with our lines out, and only caught a, had a couple of, like, really small bites, and that was it. Um, so we're back up this morning. We're going to start a fire, make some breakfast, and we have our fishing lines out, and maybe, like, a date maybe it's a daytime catfish bite that's actually not the first time that's happened where like they shut off at night and are biting during the day so we're gonna see all four lines are out with fresh trout and in the meantime i'm just gonna cook up some breakfast i'm down come on master of fire there he is there you go. Eating up the brawn pan. Now I got some butter. You guys want some catfish for breakfast? You know what? I might pass on a <laughs> catfish for breakfast. If it were trout or something something light, you know, I might I might have imbibed, but it's a little heavy for me in the morning. Yeah. Or the Mayans. Cross back over the wall. Oh my. Oh, yeah, that's a fire. No, that's a little hot. Too hot right there. <laughs> Should have splashed some nice warm butter on himself. <laughs> <laughs> Yow! Can't believe in butter. Everything is not butter nowadays. <laughs> I knew I'd set it in the frying pan. <laughs> You should put it on sticks over the fire. Let it droop. Like sit up here. Uh -huh. It's kind of a real quick cook with <laughs> how hot this pan is. Right. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And we got the community plate. And, and the one. The community all, fork? <laughs> the community fork, spork, spoon thing. You got to try that was all pieces. Funny. Not too shabby. <laughs> I got my poker. Oh, that's excellent. This is how we did it back in the day. We didn't have those fancy forks. Pretty good cat right there. Drive down the road. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I think I'll. Uh, you have. I think you I'll, actually, I'll, I'll it take might. Work now. It yeah. looks like it's done. That little guy was pretty tasty. I'm not gonna lie, it was pretty we tasty. Got a, we got him, we got him, we got an on that catfish. We got Ed on the catfish. The fish wants to call him Buttersworth. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're yeah. eating Buttersworth. <laughs> and he's quite tasty, I'm... It's got you addicted to the catch and cook, fresh. This isn't oh, really yeah. fresh though, because we caught it yesterday. Well, we caught it last night, but I mean, it's still fairly fresh. Uh-huh. Mm. Oh, I'll give me a minute. <laughs> Don't warm up to <laughs> the that last bite, but you just leave. Seven yeah. o'clock is too early for catfish for you. A little bit, a little bit, but I'll warm up to it. 
I got a Budweiser you can drink with it. <laughs> Wash it down with the Budweiser. Mmm. <laughs> All right, so we had a fun morning cooking up some catfish for breakfast. Catfish and donuts for breakfast. I don't recommend that on most days. Uh, but now we just moved to a different spot because we cannot buy a bite the last spot. So we're moving to this spot here. Maybe things will heat up. We're getting a little bump here. Now, when we first got here, was there current? Dude, I don't remember there being current. I don't remember there being current, so it's like they've just started pulling water from the dam. Got him. Got him. Wait, wait. Dude, real. Don't walk backwards. No, I think I missed him. Dang it, all of a sudden it just it took off. Oh, shoot, I missed him, yeah. You know, the current started, maybe the bite will start. Next set amount, and it's $72. All right. So, the address is right there with it. Well, guys, you just said really interesting thing happened fishing game stopped by and turns out we are in two infractions and Micah here feels like he was a victim of racism I was reverse racism <laughs> no just straight up racism bro <laughs> you know as you can see we obviously have a, an african-american with us I'm Mexican I don't know what he <laughs> and uh, you know apparently he had a day license but it's literally only for that day you can't, it's not like a 24 hour thing. So, um, which is a felony if I'm not mistaken, he told us. I think he, fishing without a license. I think it's a McDonald's. <laughs> so, but Ace and I were fishing without two pole permits because we both had two poles in the water. Now, as you can see, we are Caucasian white. And, um, well, the guys checked out all our stuff and uh, asked us to reel Ace and I to reel both the fishing line in. So we did, gracefully, and with respect to ourselves, and... Uh, I think you mean graciously. What did I say? Gracefully. <laughs> well, we did it gracefully, too. Uh, we're good at fishing. So, uh, but then they returned telling us that they're going to let us off a bit today. Jorge here, <laughs> in the back, apparently uh, gets no felony ticket, just a warning. However... The two Caucasians here, uh, we both get $72 tickets for fishing with uh, two poles in the water and not having two pole permits. I feel victimized. I, I, I don't know what's safe anymore. I don't feel like I can go home. I don't know when somebody's going to come knocking on my door. Um, I'm a fugitive of justice. Um, I have a record. I just... I, I feel really sick right now. I'm not in America. I just, I never thought it happened in my own country where I would be a victim of uh, racial profiling, but it is what it is. What that, is it? That was honestly quite disturbing. Yeah? Because I, I just witnessed racism <laughs> by uh, two Caucasian <laughs> fish and game officers on my buddies here, which happen to be Caucasian. And they gave me a warning. Can you imagine the shock? That was, uh, I don't know about that one. Racism is, is different now. Everybody's a target. Well, guys, well, guys, it's been a tough day out here. Tough, plus 24 hours. We've been victims of racism. Catfish have been tough. We only caught two right at first, but we still had fun. We did. We ate fish. Yeah, was... We're definitely going to come out to this reservoir on the opposite side, 40 miles from here, and try it again yep. in a couple of weeks when the fishing's better. I think that's all that needs to be said. I, I don't think you can add anything else to that. No. It's just, no. That was perfect. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Wait, wait, one thing. To end this, I'm going to show you a little clip that you will enjoy from earlier this spring of Micah catching his personal best catfish it was so chaotic that we didn't get great video of the fight but we got it in check it out but coming up to the surface it's rolling I mean, it's moving like a cat you know it's got that swimming around yeah this is a really good one I might uh, get the get the old net I'm gonna get the old net. Oh, it's a. This thing's a freaking toad. Oh my gosh! Dude! 
Look at the size of that, dude. Look at the size of that. Oh, just twisted oh. my ankle. <laughs> oh my gosh. Dude, look at the size of this toad. Are you kidding dude, me? What do you think? 15 pounds? That's, that's like, yeah. I have a scale. We'll weigh it. Holy mackerel, dude. <laughs> it's way right toward us. You light little bite, you go set the hook. Yeah, I mean, that wasn't even, the bite was just like, <gasps> oh my gosh. Holy mackerel. <laughs> Go. Look, look, the hook's right on the outside of his mouth. I'll get it. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's dude. a new personal bass. Yeah, yeah, no kidding. Nice channel cat. <laughs> Holy mackerel. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Thanks for getting the net. We need it. <laughs> wow, bro. Wow. Here, I'll get you some pliers. We'll get it. All right, so I wonder what the weight limit. Oh, 50 pounds. Okay, so we're good. Like 15. 15, 15, like 15, seven. seven. Like 15, seven. Holy cow, bro. <laughs> dude, when he went up and he rolled way out there. Yeah, yeah. Like that was, yeah, I was like, like oh I goodness. just turned the camera off and just ran over to the, get the net. Cause I was like, we need to have the net. Was a good